Oh, my mistake. It's Peacekeepers. Ooh. So, when I was a kid, this was the coolest shit ever. Welcome to Peacekeepers, Spyro. And that's as much as I'm gonna let you say. So, I like how all the dragons in the, like, worlds all have different aesthetics. Voices, mannerisms. It's really impressive. It's like, they didn't need to do that, but they did, and it's really cool. Also, I really like... So this is something I like about Spyro 1 a lot. It feels... And 2 and 3 do it to an extent, too. Um, all the worlds, they feel like they have cohesion. You know what I mean? Like, you go into Dry Canyon, the area looks like this. You go into Dr. Shemp, the area looks like over there. Oh, and I don't know how much they changed, but look at this shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's, he's got full-blown hole in the ass. He's he's just like, hey, 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 check it out. Look at my square ass. I remember this was a fucking market point. Was they were like, the enemies even moon you. This is such a 90s thing. It really is. It's like, yeah, you know what? You'd show you your asshole. Well, guess what? You just exposed yourself to a minor dragon. You're going to fucking dragon jail. So... There's a few of these guys that won't do that. I think these guys will actually go aggro after a while. I can't remember. Um, the cannon guys don't do it. But when I was a kid, you gotta remember, this was unbelievable. There was nothing like this game on the market. And you can say, oh, Badger kazooie No, fuck that game. It's terrible. It's awful. I've never played it. But it's, fuck that game. It's terrible. It's awful. I don't want to hear it. You know, this is a fucking PlayStation purist home, okay? There's no Nintendo consoles in my house. Except a Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Regular, Game Boy Advance SP, uh, Super Nintendo, NES, and, uh, Nintendo DS. But goddammit, this is a- this is strictly a PlayStation household. With my PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 and my computer, then I never touch console games again. But you know what? I I can stand by my childhood. Your childhood was shit. Mine was better. Some things you just got to accept in life. Boom! With the gun! All right. So, I mean, yeah, this is pretty crude looking. Let's not beat around the bush. But when I got here as a kid, I can remember this. All right. I don't know if I was replaying the game, but I have a very distinctive memory of my mom making cheddar cheese sticks, which are basically just baked flour, olive oil, and uh, cheddar cheese, and some parm. Basically Cheez-Its, okay? Redneck Cheez-Its, whatever you want to call them, I don't know. I'm not really, a, obviously, a redneck. I'm a goth ultra lord, but whatever. Ultra lord? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> couldn't resist that um but yeah i remember we were watching the super bowl and she was making those the very first time and she made them and i ate like a fucking pound of them and i got really sick because i was a disgusting fat kid also i played this game so much that on this specific copy uh of the game that by the way i can't actually run this on native hardware properly the music is completely wrecked I absolutely have to run this through my emulator at this point. So, and yeah, we are running this off the original disc, hence why you can see the occasional frame skipping. But uh, I have no issues. Okay, actually, that's not true. I don't know whether it's the disc or the way the game handles on EPXE, but I'm gonna have to splice in the ending. I don't really wanna do that, but I don't really get a choice because if I don't, it actually crashes the emulator. I don't know what it's gonna do while it's recording, and I'm not gonna risk corrupting the footage. So, um, I apologize in advance. I'll credit whoever I steal the fucking outro from. It's like a th 30 second cutscene, but for some reason that's the only thing I can't get to run correctly on the emulator. And I love the theme of this. It's purple. I know that's really minor, but the theme of this desert area is, like, yellow and purple water. I really like it. Also, this was the first, uh... No, I think this is the second 
of the secret level, whatever you want to call it, things I did as a kid. Also, the fairies look fucking weird in this game compared to other Spyro games as well. Like, oh, I can't really do it justice without stopping, but yeah, they look weird. Uh, they don't look like Zoe in the future games. That zap! But, uh, man, I I remember doing this as a kid. My dad's like, this looks really fucking easy, dude. And I was like, Dad, you do it then. You play the game. And I handed my dad the controller, and he shit the bed in like two seconds. I don't mean we were playing it in bed. I mean, he just shit the bed at the game. It was really funny. He was like, whatever. This game's hard, okay? W I'm gonna go play Gran Turismo. Fuck you, Seth. He said those exact words in that exact tone of voice. So, <laughs> he didn't do that. He only kind of probably did that. But yeah, this one I've never been great at. I've never liked the speedways in any of the games, but it's inoffensive. Also check this shit out. See, I know how to, gr I just know how to break everything in this game pretty much except speedrunning stuff. I'm that familiar with it. So, yeah, if you do that there, you clip directly into it and it ends the level. Like I said, I love this game. So, it's going to cover for this video. See you in the next one.